I guess we should probably... Gentlemen. That's our cue. <laughs> you taking the edge off? Huh. Well, I mean, I'd ask you to join, but... Who'd be left to save the world, right? <clears throat> Alright, now let me guess. You're in a rush, right? So, uh... Whatever you need. Ask away. I mostly want to see if you're all right. How have things been? Since and I... Your silent departure? <laughs> Yeah, not bad. Vanguard's going strong. Helped Avad pick up the pieces after the battle with the Eclipse. And I took a month to bury uh. from the claim. But when I got back, I got that the was sad. to babysit Wadis on his way to the embassy. I thought that'd be a cakewalk, so of course things went sideways. <laughs> you got blindsided. Wasn't your fault. <laughs> a couple more of these, maybe I'll believe you. I was, um, wondering if you were able to lay Ursa to rest, like you wanted. Oh, look at the, the hand animation, yeah, motion yeah, capture. Yeah, did. Just seen the crowd that showed up to pay their respects. Half of them owed her a favor, and the other half, the other half owed her their lives. In the end, everybody drank. You know, that's the rowdiest funeral since, uh, what, well, since ever. <laughs> Feels like she would have liked that. Yeah, damn straight. Damn straight. She would have put them all under the table. Uh, so sad what happened to her. What do you know about the embassy? I you know not much. Only that Avad really wants it to happen. He said I'm making peace with these Tanakh. But from what I hear, they're not too big on the whole diplomacy thing. They do most of their talking with blades and arrows. So if you're heading their way, be prepared. Things might get ugly real fast. I'll keep that in mind. I know I've said it multiple times already, but the facial animation is really, really well done. What do you know about this place? No, nothing good. It's where the Karja dragged all the captives they took from the Forbidden West during the Red Raids. Lucky ones became slave labor. Eesh. The rest were hauled off to the Sun Ring and Meridian. Eesh. For sacrifice. You got it. Tanakh made sure to wreck the place before they chased the Karja out of the West. I can't say I blame them. And now Avad's paying the Azram to rebuild it. But no matter how much new stone they hmm. put up, it'll still be stained in blood. That's very poetic, Ed. And true. I have to I, go. Uh, I better get going. Oh, yeah, don't let me stop you. Just, are you, are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm saving the world. That's, that sounds like a lot for just one... Errand. Yeah, all right. Can't blame me for trying. I, I guess what I'm really trying to say is, if you ever do need me, I know where to find you. Hopefully sober. Wow. Yeah, don't count on it. <laughs> Be careful out there, Aloy. She's got so many people that want to help her, and. She's not taking advantage of any of them. I'm being blinded by lens flare. That's a very nice lens flare. We are uh, continuing onwards with the main story. That looks like he's had a few. Yes, we've spoken to Erend already. We are now. Lighten up, Paiv. You've got a thick wall of stone between you and the Tanakh up there. Yes, sir. Why the long face, my boss? Wish you were heading out there. No, sir. Are you in charge around here? Hi. Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So, what brings- I like the fact that everybody knows who we are now. <laughs> I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Wadis is here, we can finally get things Assuming underway. he's made it here. <laughs> yes. The Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really Surprise. seems to like his scrolls. Mm -hmm. But the embassy remains delayed. What? Why? Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh Marshals have yet to sound their horn. All right, fine. 
Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do, but I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Damn it. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakhthum left. Huh. So what happens at these embassies, exactly? Most can always climb over walls. In negotiation. The Karja offer tribute of food, spices, and gear. In exchange, the Tanakh return personal effects taken from Karja soldiers. Yeah, it's a little piece of talks. This particular embassy, however, is a special case. Because the Tanakh, they're handing over some sort of prisoner, right? A soldier named Fashav? Ah, so you've heard. This will be why it's been delayed. The exchange has got everyone on edge. You never know if an embassy's going to go well until it's practically over. Hmm. You said something about Tanakh marshals. Who are they and why are they not here yet? Tribes elite warriors. Before every embassy, they arrive with a contingent of soldiers from each of their three clans. Then, during the proceedings, they negotiate on behalf of their leader. And by negotiate, I mean stare down our <laughs> sun priest until they concede. Baiv over here came face to face with them for the first time at the last embassy. <laughs> came back drenched in his own sweat. It was hot that day, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it was indeed. <laughs> huh. Huh. Where is this Commander Nozar then? We haven't seen him yet. He's the one keeping the gates shut. I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high-strung. We'll see about that. <laughs> it's... This the way. potential so end of the world. Going on here. The Tanakh tore down this house during the Red Raid. Two years of labor, and we still have a long way to go. Yoink. The work stoppage and chain scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. <gasps> I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Olven was thrilled. <laughs> he did not look thrilled. Stand aside, soldier. Sir. He's got a nice kind of... There's the commander. Well, better brace yourself. And good luck. Yeah, you! With these barbarians, beyond me. Agreed. How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Aloy, was it? Oh. Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. <sighs> Yea, for as the first shall be cut. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. How many banners do you see? You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Nora. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian. File a complaint. I'll just go over the walls. I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. We'll just go over it then. Not even the savior of Meridian. Uh. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to. You shall not! I shall. <laughs> Someone approaching on a machine. Oh, hi, Val. Far off. Oh, he's done all right to get here. Oh, he's shaved, though. Open the gates, please. Do not 
Let her through that gate. That is a direct order. Sorry, can't do it. Sir, it's the savior. I don't care if it's the Dowager Queen herself. The gate stays sealed until that horn blows. I'm asking nicely. I, I don't know what to do. Hey, Varl. Hi, Aaron. Uh, what's orders happening? I you know the usual. Aloy wants something. People Open try to stand in a way. It's not going to work. Gates. Oh, that's it. Arrest her. I'd like to see you try. Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. <laughs> hey, nose off. You stupid bastard. You think you got the authority to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's face? What do you think Sun King of Vod is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let <laughs> it through, boys. Saving the world. Forget something back in Meridian? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Made it just in time. <sighs> Interesting. So this tribe that Murad told us about, the Tanakh, we need their permission to go west? Yeah, well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. But this embassy hasn't started yet. We're just gonna barge in? Yes. It's no more politics. No more delays. Oh, well. Now at least you have some backup. Yay. I guess I do. We'll see how it goes. So one of the things that I was thinking about uh, in the shower, because that's where I do all my good thinking, um, is how interestingly parallel the start of this game runs to the start of Zero Dawn. You know, we have the prologue in Zero Dawn when you're mini Aloy, and we have the prologue in, in this when we're, we're with Val trying to find the Gaia backup. Then we get the stuff before the proving in Zero Dawn, and we've got the stuff in the Dawn here. And I assume that the Proving and the Embassy are also going to be parallels in terms of, ah, now the world opens up. Um, at least that was my thinking up until this point, but it seems like we're already through the gates and the Embassy hasn't actually happened yet. So that's what I wanted to do. Um, so yeah, not entirely sure whether it's going to more directly parallel things. But whatever the case... Oh. Hi. Because they're not going to care who we are. And we could quite easily kick all their asses if we need to, so... That is the line between East and West. Cross it and die. Hold on now. Let's take it easy. None may walk this valley until our signal sounds. That was our... Well, goal. we're not Karja. Karja. I'm not Karja. I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage. But they opened the gate for you, did they not? What is the meaning of this violation? Why send a child? Do they want to parley or not? <laughs> the Karja can't be trusted. This is no... Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By coming <sighs> back. Now. Hold. She's telling the truth about one thing. Hmm. She's not Karja. She's a Nora from the Savage East. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Hmm. This guy's got Let brains. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. Oh. That's for Shav. So he became part of the... This is Avard's cousin. A fearless, red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Just Aloy. I am unyielding for Shav. Once of the Karja High Command, last of the Army of the Setting Sun. You're Fashav. Vavad gave me a message for you. That he waits for you in Meridian, where you belong. 
Hmm. Avar always was polite. <laughs> well, now I'm even more curious about you knowing that you have the confidence of the Sun King. He fancies us. But such an association with the Karja could work against you here, as it often has with me. As you can see. Hmm. Tensions are high. This embassy is a delicate affair. Yes. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. And now you arrive, unheralded. Eh, yeah, trying to save the world. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. So you say. I might be able to help, but I need to know why. Along with some assurance. Um, saving the world, end of all life on the planet. I've never seen markings like those on a Karja before. The Karja see ink is decoration. For the Tanakh, it is much more. A litany of deeds. A record of vanquished enemies. Looks like you've vanquished quite a few. <laughs> <laughs> I've fought my share of battles. Join the club. But I feel that my life, like my markings, is only half complete. Yes, he's only got them on one side. This side shows my martial deeds. Before I die... I'd like to see the other half marked with the laurels of peace. Good for you, mates. How did you come to be among the Tanakh? It's quite a story, but not a quick one. Though I suppose neither of us is going anywhere before the embassy begins. <laughs> Are you sure you want to hear it? Absolutely. Tell me. I guess we have time. Very well. I like story time. I marched with Sun King Jaran's raiders when they came that west, was the Mad King. to moderate their worst impulses. I failed, of course. Yeah. Uh -huh. They committed unspeakable atrocities, stirring the Tanakh into action. When the clans overran our forward, I like the fact that he is actually talking a bit quieter as well because he's surrounded by antagonists. I didn't make it easy for my captors, mind you. And they paid me back in kind on the journey to their capital. I lost so much blood on the way that I was white as a corpse when they threw me before Chief Akaro. I thought I was dead for sure, so I resorted to desperate measures. So when you met the Tanakh chief, you did something desperate? Now, I'd kept my ears open as the Tanakh dragged me along. And I heard mutterings about a kind of oh. by combat that they revered. Of course, yes. So, when they flung me at Hakaro's feet, I demanded this right, called the Kulrut. Kulrut. Thinking that by winning, I could request a boon. My life, or even my freedom. But? The other Tanakh howled, but Hakaro stared them down. And then his gaze fell upon me. Evidently, he appreciated my ingenuity. Mm. He allowed me to participate in the cool route. Are we going to have to participate? You said the cool route is a Tanakh A little bit like combat. the proving. Yes. But it is no ordinary Although the proving is not technically a trial by combat. It doesn't pit men against each other, at least not directly. Instead, the combatants fight machines and a great Ooh, I wonder if we know anybody that's any good at that. Survive. Believe me. It is no easy thing to stare down a charging machine while hundreds around you scream for blood. Uh, I know more about that than you might think. <laughs> you. Well, then you have my respect. We've, like we've you, I lived through fought it for you. Prize. I had hoped for freedom, but well, that wasn't on offer. Only service to the chief. You wound up serving the Tanakh chief. The winners of the cool route must serve the chief as his marshals. You mentioned that word before. What does it mean? Well, the word itself refers to a kind of protective spirit from the ancient past. Marshals? In practice, the marshals are Hikaro's roving lawgivers. Part magistrate, part judge, part executioner. Yeah, okay. I won my place among their ranks and served as honor demanded, but many Tanakh still spat on the ground when I walked by. Ah, we're also familiar with this. Until I started forcing them to the ground to grind their faces in it. I guess that's one way to deal with it. <laughs> As you may have noticed, violence is the native tongue of the Tanath. To survive, one must master it. Well, we're the truth decent. Is, though, the Karja speak it too. 
more than they should. I can't blame the Tanakh for hating them. Yeah, it is a delicate so, um, balance. Are you still Karja? Part of me, yes. Always. Yet there is much to admire about the Tanakh. Especially their chief. Good old tribalism. I've heard stories about what it was like before his reign. Three clans always at war, constantly slitting each other's throats. Hikaru and the marshals have crafted a delicate peace. And now he looks to the future. So why is the third tribe not here? Maybe that future will include cooperation with the Karja. Hmm. The Karja talk about Hikaru as if he's a monster. Of course they do. The Karja feel compelled to demonize him if only because he swept them from the field. <laughs> so the victor get the spoils. He is fearsome. When I was first taken before him, I thought he would flay me alive. But he is no bloodthirsty tyrant like the Mad Sun King was. Sounds respectworthy. I think that if you were fortunate enough to meet him, as I was, you would find that he only wants the best for his people. I hope you do speak to him. I'm sure you'd interest him. <laughs> we tend to have that effect. So, that's my story. You're the first Easterner to hear it, but not the last. It almost sounds like he doesn't want to go. To know what I have learned. Yeah, the way you talk about the Tanakh is a lot different than how they do. Huh. <sighs> Are you glad? To be going back to Meridian. Oh, I'll admit that I wouldn't mind sleeping in a feather bed or sipping wine from the southern vineyards. But I have another goal in mind. Peace. As someone who knows the Tanakh and the Karja, I'm in a unique position to advocate for both. If Sun King Avad is amenable, my hope is to establish a lasting peace. The Tanakh don't seem that peaceful. They're not, <sighs> as a rule. But these are difficult times. What does not Chief feel Akaru with? knows that survival often requires change, even if that change means putting aside centuries of war. <sighs> you asked why I need rite of passage. I'll tell you, but you won't like my answer. Six months ago, the world almost ended in Meridian. That threat still exists. It's getting worse every day, much worse. Calling down storms, poisoning the water, enraging the machines. Surely it's the been seen over here. Gone west, and I'm the only one who can stop it. I've seen the signs. And I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian. An army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. <laughs> so I'm inclined to believe you. The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. I'll grant you this, to serve as proof of your right to travel into Tanakh lands. But... A task so important, and it's just the two of you. Well, it was just going to be me. Take it from one who aspires to be a diplomat. Allies are essential. <laughs> does not aspire to be a diplomat. West better than anyone. At he all. Help you. He can be intimidating to others, but don't let that deceive you. He is a man of his word. Maybe. If I need him. Your choice. So this is the same as the Seeker title. Find him at his palace, got. past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you. The depth of field and on those arrowheads dark. always goes weird. The Sky Clan's banner. Ah, finally. Ooh, I like their colours. Marshals. It wasn't easy, but I brought the Sky Clan with me. And the commander? Uh, no. I could only convince a few. What is going on? Aware we left. We have banners from all three clans. If there are fewer from the Sky Clan, it can't be helped. He's right. Sound the horn. What's going uh, on? Not all Tanakh can stomach the idea of parlay with the Karja. But enough have come for us to begin. Then I'll be on my way. No. The other marshals will not permit it. You wanted safe passage, you have it. After the embassy. <sighs> mm. 
now we have to deal with Wadis, and he's an the idiot. Tarja have opened the gates. I feel like Vodis is going to feck all this up. Because he's a pompous ass. But he does look really nervous. As so. the sun rises over a land at war, so too can it set over a land at peace. Today is such... Uh-oh. Hear me, marshals! You who claim to be Tanakh! Uh-oh. Regala. Chief Akaro's biggest mistake. A rival whom he should have killed. You have forgotten that our people were born in blood. The blood of the Karja. Instead, you pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. Hikaru has betrayed us. The embassy is proof. And all of you marshals are his accomplices. For this, I condemn you to death. You'll need more than toothless threats to intimidate us. Exile. Oh, shit. I love their designs. Lancers, form up. Oh, this is all going to shit. Oh, they've got the bristle bats. They're riding machines. Yeah, I can do Where that. Where they learn to do that? Hades and silence. Yeah. Vashav, come with us now, or not at all. Archers, light them up. Shit. Get to cover. Jesus. No. Oh man. Keep them back. It's for sharp gonna get Oof. That flank to the Kaja. Run them down. Ooh, the controller be a rumbling. Gonna make it. Ouch. Open the gates. Open the gates. Open the gates. Kaja. Stand your ground! Oh shit. Fire at will! I don't have a shot! Eey. Oh dear. This is not going... This is not going well. As I suspected. What happened? Can you see? It's just us now. Hey! Come down and fight fair! Lancers! Take the center! Get ready! I assume we're going to actually have to fight here? Yep. 
Stick to cover. Archers on the ridge. Uh. Here they come. I'm out of the right. Oh, these are fiery guys. Uh, probably should have. Where they gone? Something try to kill us. Reacquire that. Move in. You and me. You and me. Okay, I can do that. Concentrate your fire. One more trigger dead. Ooh, these guys are. I'm ready for Funk. Oh. Uh oh. Ooh. Felt the thud of that. Jesus Christ, how strong is this guy? They got one of the now, marshals. Oh, jeez. Oh, these are... I assume that's enough to make them explode, yes. Level up. Oh. Whee! Don't forget to roll. Enough! You, Outlanders, I'll skin you both. Yeah, you can try. Chief, grant me the honor of this challenge. Granted. Uh huh. Seriously? Yeah. One on one? Oh, this is where we're going to get our glider from. Nice work, Val. Didn't see that coming. Oh, it can be used as an actual shield, can it? You're next, girl. Yeah, really. I've never seen a shield like that. You better scan it. Ooh, yeah, that's an idea. This battle is done. Ouch. I can break through a shield if I damage it enough. Uh. <laughs> Gotta try again. Is uh Nope. You're as weak as your shield's gone. He's vulnerable. Cha ching Tell you that. Shot coil? 
Claw Strider Circulator. First time I've used one of those Valor thingies. That was good. I like that. Your turn. Come down here and face me. No. It was an honorable challenge. You've earned your life today. Coward. Comrades. Mark this day. Today you have decimated the marshals. Slaughtered the Karja. Oh dear. So begins our war on Hikaru. Move out. Supported by silence. <sighs> Shit. Val, how you doing? Uh, the marshals are still alive. Or at least one of them is. Oh. Get him to the camp now. You gonna make it? You're going on without me, aren't you? Yep. Guess I'm stuck with Aaron. <laughs> For now. Come on. I'll take you back to the fort. Oh, man. The shav dead. That's a shame. I liked him. Next day. It's salvage time, boys. Oh, these guys are from a quest that I started. I'm going to salvage your shield. I don't think it can take a hit. I should be able to use it to glide. Ah, so no no shield mechanics for us. Oh, man. Aloy. I know the parallels with the proving were... We're still trying to sort out this mess. Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. Yep. That sounds about right. The marshals weren't expecting Regala to attack. And the entire Karja delegation was slain. Nozar, Vwadis, Peshav. A massacre. What will you do now? I have to head west. Hopefully this rite of passage is still good. For what I'm after, I'll cross all of Tanakh territory if I have to. Then you have a long road ahead of you. This is only the threshold of the Forbidden West. The Tanakh's true domain lies over the mountains that border Plainsong. If I knew more about Home American geography. Tribe. This isn't Tanakh's territory? All that out there? That's no man's land. It was supposed to be neutral ground, though obviously this Regala ignored that. Her rebels approached from the north with all those machines they were riding. I think it's the animation that they've got on the, the movement of the lips. The it's not just the movement of the mouth, but the movement of the lips that's really the adding to this. Are you saying the rebels let them into the dot? How would that even be possible? I don't know. But it's worth looking into. While you're at it, there were a number of Karja and Asuram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy. Maybe you could check in on them. See if they're all right. I can keep an eye out. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? There's that one, over there, near the Utara border. But why... It's, uh... It's hard to explain. <laughs> It'll help yeah. me get the lay of the land. If you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? I don't know. What do you know? Fashav called Regala a rival. Someone that Tanakh chief should have killed. <laughs> yeah, I reckon he should have. She's obviously a huge threat. Her attack was coordinated and precise. 
until you got in her way. We that do is. have a tendency of messing up. The land. And they knew Fashav was going to be handed over at the embassy. If the Tanakh weren't expecting her, she must have spent months gathering an army in secret. They had to have made camp nearby. Somewhere they could lie low until the perfect moment So we can go strike. scout that out. About Fashav. <sighs> the man was taken captive by the Tanakh. Survived for years out in the West, only to die just short of the Sundom. Vivard's gonna be pissed. It's a cruel end for a good soldier. There was more he wanted to do. He spoke of advocating for lasting peace between the Karja and Tanakh. Too late for that now. What will happen to him? His body will be carried back to Meridian. As a cousin of the Sun King, he will be accorded official rights and buried with honor. No soldier could ask for more. It's too bad about Nazar and Wadis. Well, at least Nozar went down fighting. As the priest. The sun priest. Well, no one deserves to go out that way. Even a twat like Wadis. I'll make sure they're given proper funeral rites. It's the least I can do. Hmm. Do you think the Karja will take action against Regala? Seems like you'd have common ground with the Tanakhs. An expedition of the Karja army into the west could be taken as the start of another invasion. Yep. Sun King Avad won't risk it. That but. said, we can't allow ourselves to be caught unaware by an attack like that again. Yeah. You said the Tanakh lands are far to the west. What can I expect to find between here and there? Well, as I mentioned, you've got a stretch of wilderness known as No Man's Land, and then New Taru Farmlands. Past that are the Tanakh. Their territory is split into three clans. Desert, Lowland, and Sky. Okay. Right. I saw their banners at the embassy. The Desert Clan is closest. Ooh, vicious lot. Where everyone uh. else sees an inhospitable wasteland, they see a challenge to dominate. Yeah, of course. Somewhere beyond the desert, is the tribe's capital and the territories of the other two clans. So we're going to pass Don't through that. Seven. I've only heard the stories. During the Red Raids, the Karja army tried to push into Tanakh territory, but the United Clans rose up against them, forced them all the way back to the dot. So no one except the Tanakh really know what's beyond the desert. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe the scholars do back in Meridian. We're not going all that, that way. All those scrolls have to be filled with something, right? <laughs> Something useful, yeah. You mentioned the Utaru tribe. Their lands are between here and the Tanakh further west? That's right. Plainsong is their home. They're a peaceful bunch, at least compared to the Tanakh. Yes. More taken to farming than fighting. It's hard to imagine a bunch of farmers surviving in the Forbidden West. We don't know enough Make really no about mistake, it. They have a fierceness all their own. When the Karja were pushed back during the Red Raids, their warriors chased ours through the burning fields of Plainsong. Hmm. The Sun King has made several overtures of peace to them as well, but so far, they've declined. Wonder why? If they're so peaceful, why decline? Don't know. I heard they have their own troubles to deal with. Something about a food shortage. You'd think that'd make them open to trade, but no. They just want to be left alone. We're not gonna let that happen. <laughs> this area is no man's land. That it is. The Tanakh used to attack anyone past Baron Light on sight, but after Avad overthrew the Mad Sun King, he reached out to the other tribes to offer reconciliation. The Tanakh agreed to a neutral border zone as part of the peace talks. Karja and Asaram have been striking out into the area ever since. But now, it seems like Regala and her rebel army have moved So we're going to have something to deal well, with. never called No Man's Land safe. In No Man's even Land. In the best of times. The ancient ruins of the Southwest are a testament to that. Remnants of some forgotten war. Ooh. You said there were others who went out when the gates were open before. S like Southwest who? War. Well, See, I don't in know. Geography to the enough. Salvagers that just went the through, states. There were a couple of other parties of. Awesome Petals are being British. Even saw two Kaja scholars trekking southwest with an awesome crew. Not sure if they're exceptionally brave or just foolhardy. Or both. Right, time to go. I need to be on my way. Then I wish you luck. The gates will always be open to you should you wish to return. We will. Whoa. 
Weeble, weeble, weeble. And don't worry about your friends. We'll get them patched up. I appreciate it. Sun, watch over you, Aloy. I hope you find what you're looking for. Yeah, me too. Otherwise, you're all dead. <laughs> like every single person on the planet. Bling! Attended the embassy. Two skill points. Trophy earned. Well. That. Uh, hold square while in the air to deploy and glide. So, this is the Forbidden West. Death's door. A whole new frontier to explore. The coordinates from the spire should lead to silence in Hades. New rebel camp. And just maybe a backup of Gaia. It won't be easy out there. The blight, the storms, Regala's machine writers. But I'll have to push through it all. Find a way to fix the world. Find a wood. Find a way to fix the world. This will be a woman who led the ambush. Regala had a lot of machines under her command. There's only one other person who has that kind of knowledge. Silence. We really feed. What's his angle? Why help to knock the rebels? Yeah. Because he's not just trying to slow us down, is he? Because he gave us the coordinates to find him. So he wants to see us. Hmm. That is... Good spot to test the shield wing. Why I climb down when I can glide? Indeed. Fox. Dead fox. Precision arrow quiver. Job done. Uh, Straggler's Shade. Ah, okay. That was the place where we went for some stuff. Um, quests. Search north of Baron Light for the Rebel Camp. Okay. I guess next time, folks, we're going to go and find some Rebels. But that was a big, dramatic set piece on par with the Proving. It lacked emotional impact in the same way that the proving had and you know lost dying but nevertheless it introduced a character for just long enough for us to be sad when they got killed so yeah i'm i'm very impressed with what the game is doing so far and I, i'm gonna keep on saying it but the the facial animations and motion capture are really, really doing a fantastic job of ensuring that the action, the dialogue, the emotional resonances are are believable. And that's you know that's super impressive because it must be a lot of work and a lot of money to do them as well as this game is. I don't think there's anything I can do about this now. It worked. We oh, okay. Guess I can leap off just about any cliff now. I assume I remember to press the button, which me being me. <laughs> uh. 
know. Well. Those are some views. Those are some views. Light's taking over the land out here, too. Those must be the salvagers I met in Baron Light. Looks like something's going on. I've got a tank. You really think you can do this? Hello. If it isn't the savior of Meridian and of my very own operation. Larin, say hello. Hello, nice to meet you. You know, if it weren't for <laughs> this one, I probably wouldn't be standing here right now. Oh, nasty business. What the Tanakh did back at the embassy. Yeah. Uh -huh. But everyone in Baron Light is thankful you drove him off. So this is your salvage operation. You won't find a better place to trade machine parts in the West. And soon we'll be trading in more than just that. Oh. For too long, the West has been, well, forbidden. Dangerous. Yeah. But what if I told you we could make an armor Ooh. so tough, so infallible, Ooh. that you'd never have to worry about survival out here? I'd again? be very interested. I'd be curious to take a look at it. Of course you would. <laughs> And that's why I've asked my most talented salvagers to find what they need to make that armor. Each of them will present their work to me. The best protection will go on sale to hunters, just like you. Lucky me. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I have some business to attend to back in Chainscrape. Larand can take care of you while I'm gone. Can't wait to see what you come up with, my boy. Leave it to me. It'll blow all the others out of the forge. You have got to help me. <laughs> what are you talking about? The armor. I made a dozen versions of it. But none of them were good enough. And there are other crews further west. If they make better armor than mine, I can kiss that keg full of shards goodbye. So you get a prize if Karif picks your armor? A big one. And I finally have the perfect design. I just need the right parts and fast. Uh huh. So maybe you'd be willing to pick up a contract and get them for me? What would I be looking for? Shell walker containers. If they're planning they're the to make stand things, a lot of damage, they? it'll make the perfect armor. I know it. I think I can handle that. Yeah, we blew up ah, plenty. The forge. All right. We scouted out a herd near here. Here's the contract. It'll tell you everything you need to know. You take the machines down. My people will pick up the containers. He has people. I'll give this a closer look later. Thanks. I'm counting on you, Aloy. Okay. Huh. Ooh. Right, what do we got? Unknown Sky Drifter sites. Rebel Camp. Bristleback stuff. Relic ruins. They give loads of XP, I discovered. Right. Next time, we're going to go and... I think... Finish off the Bristlebacks. <sighs> Actually, no. I might go and do the Relic ruins first. Because that was fun. The puzzly nature of it. And then we'll go and do the Bristlebacks. Next time. I hope you've enjoyed this very dramatic story beat. Because I have. I think that was really, really well done. It got just enough action, just enough of involvement for us. And some... Yeah, some interesting plot-related developments. Again, the parallels between Zero Dawn and Forbidden West are, are, are fairly obvious so far. And if the entire game parallels in that way i've got no problem because as i said i really enjoyed the structure of zero dawn as soon as that plot kicked in and the mysteries started unraveling it was like oh yeah i'm really interested in this the world building what they're doing with it be interesting to see 
without that mystery of what the corruption was and Hades and Gaia and all that, what what they can do with with this. But I've got faith that we shall have something very interesting on our hands. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the old thumbs up button. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.